The ever busy Abuja Kefi dual carriageway was for the first time totally closed Monday for over six hours following the early morning blast. Driving from Asukoro to the blast scene, we observed that vehicular movement was reduced by over 90% at rush hours. Residents of Nyaya, Maraba, Karu, and others who got stuck in traffic spent hours watching event after the blast. When President Jonathan left, ITV sought the views of residents on the blast that shook their community. They believed that the blast would have been prevented if government had taken steps to secure the ever-busy Yanyan bus terminal. To be candid, I didn't be proper security has been placed in this place. That is a major place where people take buses to go to their places of work. This thing would have been avoided. What we are saying is that if something like this will be done in any part of this country, proper security should be put in place. There are cameras, there are things they can put in place that at the end of the day, it will be prevented. See lives that have been wasted, see lives of students that, 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 that were wasted during jam on Saturday. This thing is getting out of hands. For government to have a car park like this, they are supposed to have security. Because they know that the aim of the Boko Haram, since what is happening in, in Meduguri, uh, if there is any small celebration, the place will be bombed. And this is a car park. Every morning people gather here, over thousands of people that are here every morning. So in that case, if government can put car, car park here and they not put security, they are responsible for what is happening in this, what has happened today in this place. If I didn't mean they secured the park very well, at least we would have no, seen some, some, some signs before this thing occurred. As you can see now in this park, there is no sign of anything like security through the first entrance and the back entrance. The residents of Yanya who are just experiencing their first uh, bomb blast in the FCT also bear their minds to ITV. See, our this Nigeria, it don't, it, the thing don't too much because of our, our this, this people are there here. Eh? Now, now poor people there here, they suffer, they suffer well, well. And the big man, they for office, they talk, they join, in the join themselves. And why not those people who are there here, they suffer. They good poor people. My only beside the verse, I don't want to talk for this thing, what happened. Since when they stop Araba now, since when they gave my stop Araba, they carry this boat like this, they gather here. All those things will happen for Abuja like this, like no good. Now. The one man will go village, go the push we but I mean, we will go the do it for village. We are not happy. Federal government should do something about this. We are totally bitter about what is going on. We are, we are losing our life every day on the name of we are in Nigeria and we are trying to look for something to eat. Somebody that has something doing, if you give him money to go and buy somewhere, the person will not do it. Look at the life that waste today. See the same thing, if you went to national stand on that day, see the same thing that happened. People are just dying in Nigeria because lack of everything, lack of security, lack of unemployment. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the way coming to Nanya. Reaching Mopo Junction, then I, I heard the sound. The passenger inside my motor began to, you know, because the sound was was very very uh, very very heavy. As at the time ITV left the scene of the blast, the road was open, but many we are still standing around wondering if the blast was real or not. Ikaro Ata, ITV News, Abuja.